According to the Crop and Food Security Assessment Mission report prepared based on a survey carried out by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations and the UN World Food Program, food security in Sri Lanka has improved across all provinces during February and March. The report estimated that 17% of the population is in moderate acute food insecurity, which is nearly a 40% decrease when compared to the months of June and July last year. The improvement in food security stems from better food consumption, which the report says could be attributed to reduced food prices and improved incomes among farming communities during the harvesting period when the mission was carried out. Regardless of the positive trend, food insecurity still remains high in districts such as Kilinochi, Norelia, Mana, Bataklo, Waunia and Jaffna. Among that, the highest level of acute food insecurity was found within the tea plantation communities, in the estate sector and among daily wage labour and households who rely on social assistance programmes such as the Samurdi. Due to poor plant nutrition caused by an inadequate supply of fertilizer and unaffordability of essential material inputs, the production of cereal, including rice and maize, is forecast at 4.1 million tonnes, which is 14% below the past five year average. Essential fertilizers distributed by the government that were promoted by funds has impacted on production. The report stated that the 2022 and 2023 Maha season productivity is 12% higher compared to the 2022 Yala season. While highlighting that this report is an eye-opener on the continuing vulnerabilities and challenges that exist within the food systems of Sri Lanka, FAO country representative Vimalendra Sharan said that they remain committed to supporting Sri Lanka in their efforts towards achieving sustainable food systems, food security and zero hunger.